I'm Giuseppe Fantozzi, actually I'm the Agriculture and Food Coordinator for the World Bank in Rome, and I'm talking on behalf of uh, Jorge Munoz and Marqueta Ionasova, well known to many of you that unfortunately could not make it today here. Uh, before to talk about the landscape approach, um, I mean, a landscape approach has many features that are not uh, completely new and uh, uh, many point of contacts with some other approaches. Now listening to the presentation of uh, our colleague, uh, I saw that uh, many s things could have been said also for using this, uh, uh, our approach. Uh, of the definition that we have in landscape approach, there is a definition that basically came out uh, in uh, recent years, although, as I said, as the roots uh, much uh, earlier, probably 10 to 15 years ago, I would take that uh, beside the geographical aspects, and that's why we are here, we are speaking about the uh, territorial approach. The most important thing is that uh, there is a, a, a clear overlapping, and that's what we are trying to do, uh, of uh, the environmental sector and the agricultural sector. In putting that socioeconomic, uh, it's very important, in putting people at first and connecting also with every type of governance issue. S that's why. It's also very important that the second part of the definition, that is the interactions, is basically the most of the accent on the uh, where probably we developed something that is uh, innovative, is in the interaction between those and probably those, I hope, will come out uh, uh, clearer when I will make the presentation about our example. We have uh, currently several uh, projects that uh, are um, using this uh, uh, landscape approach, uh, we, we mentioned some, uh, focusing on different aspects. Uh, uh, you can find this information, of course, uh, detailed on our external website. On Rwanda, actually being financed by the Global Agriculture and Food Security Program, you can find information about that also on the GAFSP uh, website. Uh, now, it's already difficult probably to speak uh, uh, enough comprehensively about this approach in 10 minutes, so even more difficult probably to answer all the questions that the Secretary had made, but uh, uh, to one of the questions uh, that was what is the strength uh, of, uh, our organi of my organization in facing this type of approach, is that exactly uh, in order to uh, identify and then try to get the best out of these interactions, there is a need for a wide amount of expertise. Um, and in this, probably the bank has uh, an advantage also because we can refer to some of uh, uh, other expertise of our group. For example, I'm talking about risk insurance, where we can refer also to the uh, International Financial Corporation. Uh, the uh, example that we took today is actually an example, as I said, the landscape approach is something that we call this way readily recently, three to five years ago, but uh, this project, for example, uh, finally starts more than 15 years ago, at two phases and uh, ended uh, just uh, a few years ago. Uh, as you can see, what was the objective uh, was pretty, uh, 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 how can I say, quantitative in terms of uh, uh, rehabilitating and bringing to agricultural production and intensifying 15,600 uh, square kilometers of land. But uh, uh, instead of uh, mm, putting these things there, a, a little bit of background was that uh, uh, the issue on in this area, the Les Plateau, that basically is a middle yellow river basin, was uh, that uh, a lot of erosion, a lot of erosion that was ca causing problem not only in that area, but also downstream, so to dams and to other type of uh, investments, uh, created basically, as uh, uh, my colleague said before, from the poverty of the people living in that area that was having a free range grazing of goats, was building terraces, but small terraces, three meters wide, and every flood is with destro destroyed and they had to build them again. So uh, there, is, there was a clearly uh, a classic uh, uh, vicious circle of development that had to be broken. Uh, what it happened was that uh, uh, they, they, they built a new big terraces. And thanks to warping dams, that could bring also some other land behind the warping dams to agriculture. The point is that this is basically new land, and the issue was how to secure uh, this new land, secure the titles of this new land. Uh, this is why 
uh, an element that is here in these projects usually that we call landscape approach in this one particularly but in general we found and this is a little bit uh, uh, different probably for others was that a lot was of attention was paid to regulatory and uh, legal aspects of this type because basically the position of the bank at that point was no secure land titles uh, no project we cannot go ahead the uh, securing the land title was uh, what we identified as to be the the, the 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 element that could break the circle and uh, uh, give an incentive to the farmers to have uh, an approach that was more sustainable from the social environmental point of view uh, Again, there was a second uh, uh, project following this, uh, and here there are all the... Uh, uh, actually, what is interesting here that I, I mentioned mainly the land aspect, but uh, also a lot of importance, I would say, I would stress uh, the, the uh, animal aspects, because uh, there was a passage, a gradual passage towards financing, but also clearly training uh, to uh, cows and uh, sheep uh, by helping them uh, building pens and uh, sheds and in order to, uh, to drop the use of free-ranging goats uh, that uh, was destroying the slopes. And the slopes uh, instead there were incentive for reforest uh, reforestate them. Uh, lessons learned. Uh, even here there is a what is more important here that uh, the the people is at the center so if you take the people and uh, basically analyze what are their needs and uh, what they really need for having uh, an environmental positive type of behavior uh, you find the identification phase of the project basically uh, uh, that again is quite consistent with what has just been said uh, special approach sustainable all things that uh, i think i have to be a little bit uh, and again the land tenure rights are secure because without that uh, uh, we would have created probably not without the probably more problem instead of solving them uh, an element that i would say has already also been said but i think it's very important to say is the importance of the communications and information if the farmers uh, were not able to understand what we were talking about and I mean in China is, um, is a question really of several hundreds of thousands of people just in this area, uh, there was no, no chance uh, for having them on our side uh, and having uh, an environmental proactive type of attitude and behavior. So a lot of attention has been put to this element. Uh, it was clearly time consuming, uh, but then it paid off, uh, particularly in the uh, activity of reforestation of the slopes. Because clearly in those that they had a clear interest in farming the new uh, terraced land or in funding the bank land behind the warping dams, uh, that was uh, clearly their clear interest to go to that. But the reforestation of the slopes, that was uh, one part of, uh, of, uh, of, of the warm plan, because the watershed, the, ba the basin plan uh, was divided into sub watershed plants, and within that, there were plants uh, both for the grazing activity, there was a grazing management plan, and there was also clearly an information plan. And there were several uh, uh, steps uh, to follow in order before to proceed uh, to implementation. Uh, opportunities for synergies. Uh, clearly, uh, opportunities for synergies are it's uh, to collaborate with the um, institutions uh, and whomever is more present on the territory. As we are speaking about territorial approach, so everybody that has deep roots on a certain territory is the most welcome and uh, probably the, uh, our, the best partner we could find for developing this type of approaches and projects and programs. But there is an element that we identified uh, running through the list of all the projects that are running the landscape approach in the bank and is that uh, probably we are not doing so well and we should do better on forests. This is why uh, we uh, auspicate right now a better coordination with PROFOR but also with the Center for International Forestry Research part of the CGIR.